Welcome back to Rifleman 2.0 and today we are bringing back out the Burst of Thunder 380. Stick around, check it out. Now when it comes down to the Burst of Thunder 380, we already know that there's a lot of really good things going for this pistol. One, it's super concealable. It's very small, very thin profile, and you can easily stash it underneath a shirt or hide it in your clothing or even a pocket if you wanted to, and it won't print badly at all. I mean, if you get the right holster, you can walk around with this thing and nobody be the wiser. Now another good thing the Thunder 380 has going for it is the decocker right there. And as you can see, it's not loaded right now. But as you probably just saw, when I racked it with the decocker off, it brought the hammer back. And then you can press the decocker and it'll bring the hammer back down. Now here's the best part about this pistol is you can safely load up a magazine with the decocker enabled and it loads safely putting one into the chamber and with the decocker activated the trigger is disconnected from the hammer big fat nothing I could pull that trigger all day every day with that loaded magazine and one in the pipe that hammer is not going to budge because that trigger is completely disconnected now when I pop that decocker off that's a whole different story Now another great thing about the Bursa, it is super accurate. For what it is, being a cheaply made gun, and it's fairly inexpensive, it's darn accurate. It's real accurate. So you can confidently carry this thing concealed knowing you can rapidly deploy it and hit accurately. That's really good. <laughs> Now we've already talked about some of the good things as far as this pistol goes. Well, let's talk about some of the complaints that we have. There are generally two major complaints. The first one is mag capacity. So, if you have the standard issue magazines, they'll carry seven to eight, depending on what kind of mags you got, but usually it's between seven and eight. But there's a way to fix that. There we go. Standard magazine with 22 rounds. Problem solved. Now, the second major shortcoming you're going to come across is range. And that's what we're going to focus on with today's video. What is the effective range of the Bursa Thunder 380? As you can clearly see, It does not have a very long barrel on there, and to say the 380 ACP isn't a very potent round, well, that's pretty obvious when you take a look at the darn thing, and especially if you do any kind of penetration testing. Because the round is fairly underpowered, the range is going to suffer. It's not like you see in the Hollywood movies. These bullets are not coming out of here like a laser beam. They do drop. And with these 95 grain pills, they are still going to drop. That's fairly light still. But because of the nominal lack of power that's back in those pills, it's going to drop a lot sooner than most other rounds. So we're going to put that to the test today. Okay, so here's the plan. The idea here to measure the range of the Burst of Thunder 380 is I have, the target is going to be set up back here. And I have it marked off 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18 yards. And I'm going to step back and I'm going to fire one round from the Bursa at each of these ranges and maybe a little bit in between if I'm seeing any kind of significant changes. That way we can track the drop as it goes further down the target and we can have a better idea of it. So first and foremost, I'm going to need more ammo. Seven rounds ain't going to do it. So we're going to be rolling with the drum today. So because we're anticipating the drop, the aim point is going to be a lot higher up here to start off. And that's what the aim point's going to be for the entire thing. Because the first few rounds should hit that no problem. But as we go, they're going to steadily drop in the target. Okay, so here we go, starting off at three yards. Let's get going on this. All right, let's bump it back. Right about five. Looking good. At the six. Right about eight. We're looking pretty good so far. They're flying true. We're at nine yards. Just about 11. Still hitting true. Here at 12. Right about 14. Flying a lot straighter than I thought. We're at 15. I think we're starting to see drop. Just about 17. Yeah, we're seeing drop now. 
18 yards. Yep, it's dropping. We've reached 20 yards. Let's keep going. 21 yards. Still going. We're at 23 yards. 25 yards. Yeah, there's definitely drop going on. 27 yards. 29 yards. 31 yards. All right, we'll do one more. All right, let's wrap it up at 35 yards. Thirty-five yards. Let's see how it did. Well, I will be dipped. It definitely outperformed my expectations. So we went from three and eh, more or less bounding two yards each time all the way out to 35 yards. And you'll see, obviously, the closer we were, the closer to target we were. And it just steadily drifted down. Now this one was a fluke. I think that was the third shot. That was a fluke. That's why I pasted it. But you now the groups are going to open up, you know, as we go further out. But if you'll watch shot cam, you'll see the steady rate of drop. All the aim points were right here, and this is where we're looking at. So at 35 yards, it's actually doing remarkable. Way, way better than I thought. So let's do a real basic penetration test. I'm going to do it at three, six, and nine yards, and I'm going to start from top going to bottom. So it's going to be one, two, three. So three, six, nine, and we're going to see how far they penetrate into this two by four piece of wood. Starting at three. All right, let's bump back to six. All right, at six yards. All right, let's take it to nine. And finally, at nine yards. That might have gone low. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so here's how it shook out. Three, six, and nine. Let's turn it over, have a look. All right, so at three yards, looks like we had penetration. At six yards, we had full penetration. And at nine yards, we had full penetration. That's it, right there. Because that's a fresh hole, so. So the penetration test kind of sucked. Uh, we saw that at minimum two of them went through the board, you know, and then they stuck in the second board. So about two inches penetration through that solid pine. Uh, maybe we'll say all three of them did it. Why not? It's kind of inconclusive. I'm shooting at a piece of wood. The range, uh, that was not expected. It only started dropping uh, way further out than I thought. Probably not even probably closer to like maybe 18 yards, but I got to look at a shot cam to figure that one out. But I mean, you guys saw it right there. So it holds true. It does pretty good. It's 100% minute of man. I'll tell you that for a fact. At about 35 yards, I don't know what kind of penetration we'd be looking at, but the range is definitely there. You're going to hit what you're aiming at if it's about this size. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. So why don't we wrap this thing up with a drum mag dump and then we'll call it a day. All right, guys and gals. Let's let freedom ring with a good old-fashioned mag dunk. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. I <laughs> uh, got some good data out of it today. Um, saw some of the real potential of the Person Thunder 380, and quite frankly, I'm impressed. The, the range is a lot better than I thought it was, much better than I thought it was. The penetration test, I guess I'll have to do like an actual penetration test at some point. That was just for fun. We're mostly focused on the range of it today. And then uh, 
everybody loves a good mag dump. So anyway, guys, I had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time.